get your problem-solving passports ready as we take a brain training journey across consonants, vowels and equations with letters and numbers. And your travel buddies tonight, the globe-trotting trigonometer, Lily Zerner. Hi, Richard. Actually, you know, when time permits, you do have some travel plans. Where's your Where's your number one destination? Well, the next on the list is Africa. I've never been to Africa before. So are we talking sort of safari or luxury hotels? Well, or? I think I'm looking at going by myself, so maybe some kind of tour. And, and I've been looking at this particular tour that goes for about 52 days, and most of it is camping. So under canvas for 52, well, nights yeah. rather more than days. Yeah. Sounds like a great adventure. Welcome, Lily. Thank you. And wayfaring wordsmith, David Astle. Hello, Richard. Thank you. Now, I know you've done a bit of, uh, of, of travel in, in South America and so on, but wh where was the most amazing destination for you in your past travels? It would have to be uh, Papua New Guinea uh, about 20 years ago. And uh, one reason is you can meet someone uh, who has a cassowary bone through their nose uh, and a, a modern-day T-shirt that they got from, uh, you know, Ozcare or something like that with a, uh, you know, a contemporary logo on it. It really is a uh, absolutely seductive collision of Stone Age and the modern age. Also, there are, you know, genuine wild pockets of uh, Papua New Guinea where you can uh, get lost in a figurative way. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic country. Welcome, David. Thank you. And it's my pleasure to uh, introduce our contestants for tonight. First up, carryover champion, back for his fifth night, Sebastian Hamm. Welcome back again, Sebastian. Thanks, Richard. Actually, you've done a whole lot of travelling as well. How many countries so far? Uh, 66. It's hard to pick a, uh, a real best from that. Yeah, but, it is um, tough. You know, is, is, there, is there a region that you particularly enjoyed? Uh, I like bits of, and pieces from all spots, but um, I'd love to get back to Nepal and the Himalayas, maybe trek into Tibet this time. OK, 66 countries so far. How many to go? Uh, I think there's about another 150. <laughs> well, that will keep you busy. Welcome back, Sebastian. And tonight's challenger is a maintenance fitter and sports enthusiast, Mark Arnold. Hello, Mark. Hi, Richard. Now, I know that you are interested in all sorts of sports and you've been a coach and you've been a referee and so on, but you also have a deep, dark passion that is maybe just a little bit less active. What's that? Well, my main job is using metals. Um, at home, I like to use wood. So, I mean, currently making a project of my own wardrobe doors, self-designed. What's the fascination with building your own furniture? Just to keep my mind ticking over. I, can't, I like to be active. So if I can't play the sports, I actually just like to put it around at home and do the gardening and things like that. But we have made um, coffee tables, bookcases, um, a magazine rack. Carpentry is Carpentry. very satisfying. It is. Good luck tonight, though. And welcome to both of them. Carryover champion, Sebastian Hamm and challenger, Mark Arnold. <laughs> Time to get analytical with some anagrams. Now, with the letters game, players are going to choose letters from two piles, one made up of vowels and the other, of course, consonants. Sebastian, you know what to do by now. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure, let's start with S. Uh, vowel. E. A consonant. L. Vowel. I. Another consonant, please. C. And another consonant. N. And one more consonant, please. F. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. And lastly, D. Thanks, Lily. First clock for the night. from those first letters, Sebastian? I'll go with an eight. Mark? I'll try an eight as well. OK, let's uh, try yours. Enclosed. And Sebastian? Confides. Really sounds like we're off and running, David, although well, you've got your very serious face on. We may be making furniture, but we're also making great words. <laughs> Enclosed, I-N, uh, is the legal or archaic form of enclosed, and confides is also an excellent eight. I think it's a round of applause too. Wonderful eights. What a great start. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Did you come up with anything else or those were just uh, great beginnings? The best to be found. Excellent stuff. Eight each for Sebastian and Mark.
Can we keep up this standard? Well, Mark, if you uh, deliver the right letters, maybe. Uh, can I have a vowel, please? Sure. Let's start with O. And another one, please. I. And a consonant. D. And a second one, please. W. And a third one, please. R. Uh, go back to vowels. A. And another one, please. I. A consonant, please. K. Oh, go back to vowels, please. And last letter, O. Here's the clock. Judging by the occasional groan yes. during your selection there, I don't think you enjoyed those too no, much. No, I didn't at all. Um, five. Five for yes. you, Sebastian? I'll try five as well. OK, let's hear yours. Kuri. How do you spell that, please? K-O-O-R-I. And yours, Mark? Radio. Well, what do you reckon, David? Um, uh, radio obviously sounds pretty straightforward, but Kuri, is that, is that with a capital K? Yeah, look, uh, Roger to radio, perfect for five. Now, Kuri, which is an Aboriginal person uh, from southern New South Wales, is only listed here as being with a capital K. So therefore, being a proper noun, uh, not accepted on the uh, on the show. Um, now, the sixth that I found is Harmony Spirit Way. Ooh, that's a lot of letters. <laughs> well, it's actually the uh, English translation of the Japanese word Aikido, which is uh, the martial art that uses the uh, adversary's force uh, to convert into uh, an advantage. Very nice find. Five points for Mark. Well, get those mental calculators ready now as we play our first numbers game for tonight. Sebastian, your combination. Can I please have four small and two large ones? Thanks, Sebastian. That's two large and four small. And the first numbers for tonight. Five, four, one, five. And the two large, 75 and 100. The target to reach is 449. 30 seconds to get there. First numbers treat you, Sebastian. Well, I'm bang on 449. You're bang on. That's the best kind of treatment. Mark? 449. Excellent. Well, uh, Sebastian, you chose, so tell us what you did. Okay, thanks, Richard. I did 5 plus 1 equals 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. Times that by the 75. By the 75 is four, 450. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. And then subtract that. Well done. 449. So, very nice piece of work. Straight to that target. Good to see. Now, Mark, did you use the, the same method or a different one? I went round the houses, Richard. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Well, we like a little bit of a scenic route. Uh, take us on yours. Uh, Lily, I went 4 by 100 to give me 400. 4 by 100 gives you 400. And then subtract to the 75 to give me 4... To, oh, I apologise, I've made a mistake. You've made a mistake. Yes. Ah, uh, OK. Well, uh, Lily, um, Sebastian's come up with the right answer. Did you do it the same way? I did. I uh, used the same method. Lovely method. Great result. So, 10 points for Sebastian. That means our scores at the moment. Mark's on 13. Sebastian, only five ahead. 18 as we go to our first break for tonight. And that first word mix is Dust Page. The clue, stole the limelight. Back after the break.